Monday. My name is Jeremy. And I'm Jake. And this week we are reviewing the B-side to the single Osaka Koina Uta. And the B-side is... B-side is... How did you miss it? It was running through the entire song. <laughs> There's no possible way you could miss the title of this single. <laughs> this week's B-side is Nature is Good. Nature is Good is the B-side to Osaka Koina Uta, which is a song about heartbreak and sadness. I love you, I still love you, but we're too far away and it'll never work. Our conversations on the phone are breaking. It was a very metaphorical song, it was a deep song. It had a lot of uh, complex emotions running through it. It was not only a breakup song, but it was kind of an ode to this whole relationship that the girl in the story had with this guy. Nature is good. The song's lyrics were promising at the beginning. We start off with this story of I've been enticed by the warm, sunny weather. Let's get on our bikes. Ah, my tears, they flow. This is youth. Then all of a sudden, the heroes of Japan were converging together. What the hell was this song about? Okay, it starts out, It's fun to bicycle. <laughs> then all of a sudden, we're talking about how tears are falling and we're in pain. And I looked, I watched two subbed versions of this song. I paid very close attention to the lyrics. And at first, I was convinced this song was like about a breakup picnic or something. I don't know. Namida, Namida, Namida. What I noticed about this song that we don't really see a lot in Marty Miss May songs other than album songs is we had built-in chanting lines. Those were the lines of the girls screaming out, Can I hear your voice? Can you hear your voice? Make your voice louder! Everybody say! There were a lot of those that were built into the original song that were kind of translated into other words in the live concerts. But in the actual B-side, there were some built-in chanting, and I thought that was interesting because that doesn't usually happen. So this song was really, really fun. It was not one of Sunku's best. Like, I don't know what happened to Sunku this week when he wrote this song. Uh, whoa, 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 nature's wound. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just working on the song that I need to, to send straight to the management. I'm, I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Yes, Roman. I'm so ready for Disneyland. Oh, but Roman, I can't take you to Disneyland. What? What was that sentence? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, Nature. But, Sunku, you whoa. called me up and you promised me we would go oh, to Disneyland. Oh, I, I told you that I was calling you up because I was thinking about Disneyland. What, what was that oh, sentence? I was just writing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Nature. Sunku, I want to see Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is on your head, Roman. But you uh, whoa, 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 Roman, uh, Roman, <laughs> Roman, yes? I will bring you to Disneyland oh. if you let me just finish this song. How much longer? I just, I've been trying to write this line and I can't, I keep forgetting, oh, whoa, 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 nature is good. Yes, okay, Roman, I need you to take this directly to the managers. You know where they are, right? Their office up in the top building. Yes, I need you to to bring it to them, and I will go talk to my people about bringing you and me to Disneyland on the company dollar. But what Sunku. was that song that I, I can't remember? Sunku, this just says, whoa, 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 nature's good over and over again. Sunku, this is literally just like five pages of whoa, 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 nature is good. Out of place. This song felt out of place. But it was, it was fun. It was fun and kind of psychedelic and kind of weird and kind of like Sunku was on drugs. I, I was digging that like 1960s Beatles ripoff guitar. The only thing that was missing was like a, like an electric organ. You know, another thing I really was digging musically was that um, 
that weird kazoo electric instrument bridge. Like, I can just picture Sunku somewhere in a recording booth with a with a kazoo, just like. It kind of had like that 70s garage band Brady Bunch vibe thing to it. It was wonderful. I liked it. The whole time the song was playing, all I could think was that it was like the bubbly theme song to a bad 60s or 70s like beach. I had that same thought. Hey Kelly, we're going to the beach. Whoa. Whoa. I really liked the um the harmonies in the whoa, 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 whoa. They kind of get a little muddled and lost in the live performances we watched, but on the actual recorded B-side, the harmonies are really nice there and they sound really pretty. Some really good layering there. This song, while simplistic in its sort of concept lyrics and music, the sound engineer this week, I'm assuming it wasn't the normal sound engineer because everything was actually mixed really well and everybody sounded good and there was some beautiful layering and good autotune happening, the good kind. So clearly it wasn't the normal guy. The normal guy who does the mixing for the singles must have been uh, on vacation or something. In the original song, we had a lot of line disbursement. Most of the girls in the group had lines, but once we hit the platinum era, Reina and Gaki had the bulk of the lines. And it was really just the two of them having solos. No problems here from my part with the Gaki lines. And I think Reina did very, very well. And everybody else just had harmonies and singing on top of each other during the um, chorus parts. Another thing I have to poke fun at is there's the one line where she's like everywhere from the north to south, the east to west, and it's like 500 words crammed in like <laughs> Gaki did the north, south, east, west, she's spinning around, and the other girls were supposed to pull out signs with the kanji for north, south, east, and west. They couldn't even do that. <laughs> it went by too fast. They're like, shoot, we missed it. Keep dancing. The dance began with this, like, we're driving on a bike and everyone's behind me and then we kind of all split up, but then we're kicking our legs up into air and then we're bouncing around and jumping and whoa, 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 whoa. It fell apart real fast. All in all, what I have to say about this B-side is while it has infused me with an odd surge of energy, it was a very stupid song. I kind of loved it. So in context of Rika, I think it was a nicer ode to her than Osaka Kwaida Uta, which was kind of this really sad, lonely, depressed song, which is more probably how Sunku was feeling after she left. In comparison to Nature is Good, which is very bubbly, like her and her aura, and it really reflected those parts of her, because she was in, as her personality in Morning Me, she was kind of like that happy-go-lucky. If you put these two, the single and the B-side together, to me it kind of does express a, a very like sort of reek in this where, you know, Nature is Good was just kind of like this frivolous, kind of shallow, bubbly song and Rika definitely had her moments I felt in, in, in the game shows, in the, in the skits where she did play, you know, the pretty dits. But then at the same time she wasn't just that, she had, you know, thoughts and a personality and you know, you could pull that from the, the A side. If you could make a music video, what would your music video be? You remember that football field from Station Collection? Station Collection. I feel like this would have been a fun Karito Ishoni style video where they were in front of green screens with like the bloobity bloobities <laughs> in the blue backgrounds, blue changing colors and all that with them making like faces and stuff. I think that would have been really fun with like a weird football set of them like flailing around and doing the birthing the baby <laughs> dance. Last week we asked you guys if you preferred Onani Sachiare better or Gio no Tobira. We also asked you if you could make your own music video, what would it be like? And we also asked if you hated the song as much as Jacob did. In Coco Flip, you did uh, come up with a little music video, and since you were the only one who did, congratulations, you win. Epic Empire, I agree with you. I think that the B-sides really represent the group as a whole better than the A-sides do, and I feel like the A-sides kind of reflect more of what Sungru's feeling, and the B-sides are more like what the girls are experiencing. All about the comments, we will be reviewing all the B-sides throughout the entire year, and there's no known order to any of you. <laughs> Tasty Cassie, thanks for saying that you thought the song was boring because Jacob hated it and he felt totally alone. <laughs> Tasty Cassie. Also, I love that you said that Koharu reminds you of one of the most popular girls in school, Barbies. Let me tell you how things were- I didn't know how things were on here, Mitchishige Sayumi. Sungu told me all about it. Oh really? Yeah. What the? What are you doing talking to Thunku? He's my new manager! So for this week, we want to ask you guys the typical question. Do you like Osaka Kwaida Uta or do you like Nature is Good better? 
and why. And if you could come up with your own music video, let us know what that music video would be and why below in the comments and we will pick some for next week to discuss. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys all next week. Peace out. <laughs> you take <much. laughs>We don't have the money for it right now. Morning Musume is doing very poorly. And, you know, I just I don't think that we can afford it. So, um, thank you. Um, you know how to let yourself out of the building, right? Because I have a lot of very important work that I need to, to do uh, for my next single. Sweetheart, necklines, and, 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 and Rika needs to look beautiful. Fine. I'm Mari gonna, too, Mari. I'm gonna go look at our personal budget then. Maybe we can pull from there. Oh, I doubt it. Why do you have a bed in your office? I don't. I don't know what that is. I don't, a bed. Uh, hello, Roman! Hi. I'm Atsuka. Who do you think it is, you idiot? Oh, yeah, I didn't mean that idiot thing. I was wondering, Roman, how does a trip to Osaka sound? Just you and me. Shh. We're not telling Mrs. Sunku. It's Roman Sunku private time. Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, what would you think about an around the world trip from Osaka to Disneyland? <laughs> In the United States! <laughs> Roman? Roman? Roman! Roman! I'll even book a hotel. Just for us. What? Let me start it. Some started with so much promise. I had such high hopes at the beginning of this piece. <laughs> much like Sunku when he started playing with Smith, I had such high hopes. <laughs> it was all. Morning coffee and 